Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 2 of my Wingnut Wings Sopwith Dolphin build. Here we are, cracking on with the build, the first cut, which won't hurt. Look it up, the first cut won't hurt at all. But before we get on with any of that, I've just gone through the colour callouts. I've gone through the paints and checked off what I've got, all the correct colours and everything else, written them down, as well as cross-referenced them to others that I'll need. So. I've worked out that I've got all the paints I need. Bonus. So, let's get building the office, shall we? But I forgot something, didn't I? Yep, the speedy uppy thing. Just crank it up and crack on. Right, there's the office chair glued together. I have to say the detail on that wicker chair is awesome. Now for some PE, this is the pilot's safety harness. That's one part done. What I'm doing now is to pre-bend it before I paint it. Doing this allows me to put the harness straight on the seat once it's painted. Oh, there you go, there's one done. Now for the second. There we go, they're both pre-bent and ready for painting. Now it's time to mark off what I've done. This is so I can remember what I've made and what I've attached. Now off comes the fuel tank and a quick clean up, even quicker with the speedy uppy thing. There we go, that's the fuel tank done. Now it's time to get the office walls done. I noticed one of the dials had a dip in it, so I got the trusty Mr. Hobby Dissolve putty out and sorted the dip. Okay, we'll leave that to dry. Now to crack on with the rest of the office walls. Here, I'm dry fitting the fuel tank to the office walls. Mental note here, the fit on the Wingnut Wings kits are so close that a coat of paint will knock it out of kilter. So be aware of that. It might even come back to bite me on the arse later on. You never know. Where was I? Oh yes, the office. What I'm doing here is I've got a coffee stirrer, popping some double sided tape on it and then what I'm going to do is pop all the office parts on there ready for spraying. Well, there you go, that's the seat, fuel tank and braces prepped and ready for spraying. Now for some hacking and bashing of the office frame. If you look in the bottom left corner of the screen, you can see, and you see that red bit? 
that's got to come off for the version that I'm building, which is the D. There's that done. I was unsure as to use my micro saw, snips, or a smaller micro saw I've got. In the end, I plumbed for the smaller one, and I used my reversible tweezers as a guide. That bit of kit is a godsend. Even on slow mo, I couldn't see where this blade in piece went. But as luck would have it, I found it in the bottom of a Bicky packet. How lucky was that? Phew, that disaster was averted. Wasn't looking forward to remaking that piece. Anyway, we can crack on with doing the office, so let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. Here you can see I'm marking off the bits I've done with a pencil on the destructions. This just lets me know what stage I'm up to and how I'm doing. Now for some more of the office. Right, that's all the office parts prepped, ready for spraying. Now to get on with the engine. Norm. There you go, that's the engine all cleaned up, so let's put it together. I say all, part of it. Right, as this is about two minutes long, maybe three minutes long, I'm not sure, I haven't looked. While it's chuntering away in the background, I'll explain what's going on. Today, I mainly be sanding and building the engine. That is what I be doing.
Ooh, look, a quick show and tell. These are the cylinders for the engine, the left and the right. So we'll end episode two there. The office walls and the engine parts are all prepped ready for spraying. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many modelers as possible, like the video, ring my bell, and remember, stay safe, keep on modeling.